Hello everyone. Today you're going to be talking about elapsed time and looking at some different elapsed time activities. So let's first talk about this word elapsed time. What does that mean? Well, it means how much time has passed from start to end of an activity. So say we are, maybe we are out doing some shopping and we start shopping at 5.45 and we stop shopping at 8.10. So how long have we been shopping for? All right, that's what elapsed time means. How much time has passed? How long has an activity lasted? Now the strategy you're going to use is drawing a timeline to figure this out. So you have a start time that you're going to have on this side of your timeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the start time in. I'm gonna move this down a bit, okay. Five. 45 and then I'm going to draw my timeline so I've got enough room to count up to the end time which is 8 10 all right so we're going to use this timeline to count forward and find the difference between these two times all right so we're going to see how much we have to count up from 545 to get to 8 10 the first thing you're going to want to do when you use this strategy is you want to get yourself to the nearest hour. All right, so if we're at 5.45, the hour right now is 5, so the next hour would be 6. So that is where we'd want to travel first. We'd want to get to the next hour. We'd want to get to 6 o'clock first. Then we look ahead now. I Now still quite a way from 8.10. I know I can go up another hour. So the strategy will be get yourself to the nearest hour, then start counting up as many hours as you can without going over this time here. So I can get to seven o'clock. Okay, and I can actually get to eight o'clock. Should I go to nine o'clock? Probably not, that would be over my time. So I'm gonna actually move this over a bit. Okay, so I don't want to go another hour because that's going to put me over my end time. So I can only go to eight o'clock. All right, now that I've got my timeline planned out, now I can figure out how much time is in between all of these and slowly count my way up. So 5.45 to six o'clock. Now, if we're not sure how much time that is, what you'd want to do is you'd want to count by fives just like you would around the clock. Okay, so I know the next time would be 5.50 then 5.55, then six o'clock. So that would be one, two, three fives. So all together, this jump here would be 15 minutes. Okay, and you can just use M-I-N-S for minutes. Okay, so if you weren't sure that it was 5.45, that it was 15 minutes from 5.45 to six o'clock, then just count up by fives to help you get that number. So 15 minutes from 5.45 to 6 o'clock, then we want to count up our hours. So we know this is one hour, two hours. So all together here in this jump, we have two hours. Now you don't have to do these little jumps if you know right away how much the big jump is from one of your times to the next. So the reason we're counting up by hours is because we can combine them all and then count up the extra. So from six o'clock to eight o'clock, that's two hours here. And then we're going to count up the remaining extra minutes. And from here to here, from eight o'clock to eight ten, we know that that's 10 minutes here. Okay, now to get our final elapsed time to find out how much time has passed all together, you're going to put all of this time together. So first, do your hours. So I know that I have two hours and then I put my minutes together. So 15 plus 10, if I'm not sure about that, I would just do a little bit of math on the side here and add that up. And I have two hours and 25 minutes. And that's my elapsed time here, two hours and 25 minutes. So that is how you would use a timeline to calculate elapsed time. Do put your start time at the beginning, your end time at the end, get to your nearest hour first, go up as many hours as you can without going over the end time, and then just count the extra and put all your minutes together and then write down your hours and then you should have your elapsed time. All right, so using a timeline today to calculate elapsed time. Have fun everyone.